furnace sounded like fireworks going off, with crackling noises. However, this wasn't a mishap causing the pot to explode. Instead, it was the sound of electricity piercing through the steel. This process, relying on electricity to melt the steel, is known as the electric arc furnace steelmaking process. The principle is simple. Recycled scrap steel or other iron materials are placed in the furnace. The top cover is sealed, and electrode rods are inserted through pre-drilled holes. Once the electric current is activated, powerful electric arcs form between the electrodes, piercing through the steel and generating temperatures exceeding 3,000 degrees Celsius. The furnace crackling like a boiling pot creates the scene we witnessed earlier. The electrode rods are mostly made of graphite or tungsten metal. Both materials have melting points higher than 3,000 degrees Celsius, allowing them to withstand the high temperatures generated during the reaction. In addition to their excellent conductivity, they are also highly corrosion resistant. Additionally, combustion aids are typically installed on the outer wall of the arc furnace. When the electrodes are inserted, they simultaneously inject oxygen or natural gas into the furnace, increasing thermal efficiency and aiding in the rapid melting of the metal. The refined steel is separated into liquid steel and waste for individual processing. Finally, the high-temperature furnace slag, which has lost its utility value, is transported by specialized vehicles to designated locations for disposal. After cooling, the following steps of processing can be